by Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So finally, we have Edge version 121 rolling out, which Microsoft released on the 25th of January, which was once again late yesterday in my part of the world. And uh, because this, this is a major version upgrade and also contains important security fixes, um, it's always good to double check you have the latest update by heading to your main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And latest version and build after the update has been applied 121.0.2277.83. Now, there's actually quite a bit going on in this update in Edge 1.2.1. Uh, and first of all, um, Microsoft has fixed various bugs and performance issues, which is common. And um, they also take this opportunity to address issues in the browser. And they've also improved the reliability, where they fixed a browser crash, which I always say is a good thing, which they're calling they fixed a browser crash in on Premise Sync. So any fix that addresses a crash, I always say, is a nice move in the right direction. And over and above the crash fix and the bug and performance fixes that have rolled out, we also get the very important security fixes that have been made available. Now, first of all, um, for the Edge browser itself, we get six Edge-specific security updates. And then over and above the six Edge-specific security updates, we also get the Chromium security updates that have been rolling out to the other Chromium-based web browsers throughout the course of this week, because Edge is based on that Chromium platform. And just to go through these very quickly, we've got 17 security fixes that have rolled out, and three of those are high risk, which is your level just under critical, and they address common issues in the open source Chromium project, like use after free in web audio, inappropriate inappropriate implementation in accessibility and Integra overflow in web UR. So as mentioned, quite a lot going on um, with the security side of things in Edge version 121. Now focusing on the new features and there's actually quite a bit going on for this update. And first of all, they've added support for AVRF and AV1 file formats. And this is something I've been posting on throughout the better part of last year and this avrf image format um, is available in google chrome as an example and now it's finally available in microsoft edge so edge now supports the avrf and av1 file formats which offer better compression and higher quality images and videos so that's what this is going to bring to the table so basically you can Microsoft says enjoy faster loading times and better quality media on websites. So yeah, we can see on the test page for this file format, your browser software supports AVIF. So that is finally now rolled out to Microsoft Edge, the stable version. Now something else which I think is going to cause a bit of debate and I've also posted on is that um, Edge is now migrating the updates experience into browser essentials. So as you may know, we had always head to our help and feedback about Microsoft Edge where we uh, see updates. And now this could be set to change. Now this feature is on a controlled rollout. I haven't um, received it yet. But um, Edge is migrating the updates experience into browser essentials from version 121, which means now you're going to get prompts in browser essentials when there is an update for Edge. So this, okay, this is going to be an interesting one to see because Microsoft says um, this uh, feature is on a controlled feature rollout. So I haven't received it yet. But from version 121, getting alerts on available Edge updates will come from browser essentials instead of the settings page for better visibility, Microsoft says, and experience. And uh, um, if you don't see this feature, check back. Um, because obviously Microsoft says this is a controlled rollout and that's going to be an interesting one to see and a little bit strange that they've moved that from where most browsers get their updates now into browser essentials but I'll keep you posted on that one. Now this next one um, seems to be on a controlled rollout where we've now got eTree in wallet so if we head to our wallet I'm not seeing this once again but basically um, if you are signed in to Microsoft Edge with a personal Microsoft account like I am, you can now grow a virtual seed, Microsoft says, into a tree with wallet. And um, as I've posted on previously, once it's grown, a real tree is planted. Now, I'm not seeing that anywhere in my wallet. So obviously, that's on a controlled rollout. But nonetheless, you may see it. You may not. That's a new feature. And then the next two, I'm just going to mention, um, there's new website, typo protection policies. 
And the built-in website type of protection now warns you if it appears there is a mistyped popular domain name which could land users on a, a malicious web page. And this is mainly focused at admins, um, obviously um, for administrators in corporations and enterprises. And then the uh, last new feature is for Edge for Business where they've enabled organizational branding in Edge for Business. So um, if you are once again a RT admin, you can enable your organization's branding assets, Microsoft says, from Entra onto profile-related UR for profiles signed in with an Entra ID, formerly known as Azure Active Directory, as many of you may know, and that's that account. And you can add your organization's details such as uh, the name to the profile, pull name and brand color to the profile flyout and logo to overlay the edge for business taskbar icon. So there's quite a lot going on here with this organizational branding. And this branding, they say, can help you more easily differentiate between multiple profiles and browser windows. But as mentioned, that's only rolling out those profile changes for edge for business. And then over and above that, um, we get a couple of new policies. There are one, two, three, four, five, six new policies and one obsolete policy. So that's it. That's more or less what's new in Edge version 121, our latest release. And I would say the big one is that support now for this AVRF uh, picture format, which has been a long time coming. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.